Imagine a world in which brain-enhancing robots circulate through our bloodstream to revert our DNA and prevent us from getting sick. Living indefinitely in this world in which all poverty, pollution and scarcity has been vanished. Imagine that there would be no limits to what you could do or be, except for the ones you have imposed yourself. This is not a trailer for Matrix 4, nor the latest science fiction movie released. This is Kurzweil's universe. If you get to the 2030s, you're not going to be able to tell a clear difference between human and machine intelligence. Uh, I do plan to bring back my father. These ideas are going to ultimately change the world. We didn't stay on the ground, we didn't stay on the planet, and we didn't stay with the limitations of our biology. Ray Kurzweil is one of the world's leading inventors, thinkers, and futurists. The man who believes that in less than a quarter of century, humanity will undergo a quantum leap in evolution with the merge of artificial and human intelligence. Ray Kurzweil, today on The Spot. Bill Gates wants to have him on his bedside table. This guy is freaky. He says computers will have consciousness in just 25 years. The Wall Street Journal describes him as the restless genius. I think Ray is performing the service of a prophet. That's wrong. And Forbes as the ultimate thinking machine. Inc. Magazine ranked him number eight among entrepreneurs calling him the rightful heir to Thomas Edison. But what's the reason for all this fuss around Ray Kurzweil? For those who might think it's only a fashionable trend, history has proved him right more than once. Back in the 1980s, he predicted that a computer would beat the world chess champion in 1998. And that some kind of worldwide computer network would arise and facilitate communication and entertainment. He affirms he has found a pattern that allows him to see into the future with a high degree of accuracy. And he might. Within 30 years, we'll have the hardware and the software to create superhuman intelligence. These machines will be vastly superior to unaided human intelligence. They may keep us around, but we won't be able to keep up with them. Actually, I think we'll use these machines to expand our own intelligence. Most of his predictions have become true. Maybe that's the reason why this genius has seduced even the cinematographic industry. Two film producers have found him as the starring character of their projects. And at the age of 62, he has allowed a 24-hour cameraman to follow him on his daily life. The purpose? To portrait the mind of a genius. Raymond Kurzweil is one of the leading inventors of our time. For several decades now, he has been revealing his wisdom to the world with a wide range of products he has developed. From reading machines to poem makers, his creations have allowed people worldwide to read, create, and live fantastic virtual lives. Available at the touch of a panel. You can be someone else. Nice to meet you. Looking back on his amazing portfolio, an almost modest Kurzweil claims he always knew he would be an inventor. Even as a young boy, he found the idea of making something out of nothing magic. Secret story, Steve Allen. Uh, first 
first of all, would you tell the folks your name and the size of the curtain that's moving in? Oh, I'm sorry. Your name, please. My name is Raymond Kurzweil, and I'm from Queens, New York. Queens, New York. And I remember other kids wondering, well, did they want to be a fireman, a nurse? And I always had this conceit, I know what I'm going to do. I do have to admit, actually, I had the idea that I would be a, a very successful inventor. And I don't, I've been actually thinking back, because people have been asking me this, you know, what gave me that idea at age five? And, but I had the feeling, if you put things together in just the right way, you could do these magical things. Well, panel, Raymond and I just happened to have uh, brought along this little piano here, as you see. And Raymond, in addition, also happens to have, uh, the old saying goes, happens to have a piece of music with him. Uh, and before we show the audience what his, his secret is, uh, we have just a few seconds for Raymond to play this piece of music. Raymond, the piano's all yours. Thank you. Ray Kurzweil was born and brought up in the New York City borough of Queens. My parents were very supportive, uh, particularly when I got into computers, which was more like age 12. And, and then things started getting expensive because computer equipment was not so inexpensive back in 1960. Uh, and they, they were artists, uh, they struggled, they felt I had a talent for technology and inventing and uh, so they managed to find the resources and, uh, for these early experiments. And at age 15, he wrote his first computer program used by researchers at IBM. Later in high school, he created a sophisticated software that composed original melodies by its own. This invention was so impressive that it earned Kurzweil an invitation to the CBS television program, I've Got a Secret, where he performed a piano piece that was composed by a computer he had built. With uh, the music, I don't understand that. Ah. But Raymond's precocity can be noticed beyond his high school inventions. Besides a genius mind for technology, he soon showed smart sense for business too. During his sophomore year at MIT, 19-year-old Kurzweil gave his first steps into the business world developing computer systems to match high school students' profiles with the most suitable universities. You know, when I was a student at MIT, we all shared one computer and it took up a whole building. The computer in your cell phone today is a million times cheaper and a thousand times more powerful. So we all have in our pocket something a thousand times more powerful than took up a building when I was a student. And what now fits in your pocket, 25 years from now, will fit in a blood cell.